Hey, so we've just arrived in Macedonia. The border crossing was really nice and simple, no troubles at all. Nice quick entrance to the country. We feel really welcome, really excited. So our first step is we're gonna head to the capital city of Skopje. Let's go and see what we can find. Let's go. Enjoying our first day in uh, Macedonia. Ah, <laughs> uh, my home's not working. No. I cannot be okay right now. I love it. I get so excited by the beeping. The coach just getting out of his car and leaving. <laughs> He's had enough. What's going on in that lane? Um, there's one lane, but there's three lanes of traffic using that one lane. <laughs> That's what's happening. Mental. Oh my god. No one's going anywhere. Well, we've been in the city for about two hours now, and that two hours has consisted of getting stuck in a lot of traffic and trying to sort our SIM card out. We bought the SIM card absolutely fine, but for some reason it's just not working in our phone. So Lucy, bless her, has been in the shop for about an hour and a half trying to battle with them. I've got to stay with the van because we can't park where we're parked because you've got to use your phone credit to buy the parking space, but we don't have a phone yet sorted out. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna check out some burek, some Macedo Macedonian burek. Mm. That's good stuff. It's working. It only took four people in two hours. Hey. We have internet. What was going on with it? I don't know, they just kept blaming it on your phone. They, they were giving no other explanation. I was trying to say no, it's been working fine on all other networks. I don't know, they were all trying to like fiddle around with it, but obviously none of them could speak English. So they're trying to go through all the settings, but then like not knowing what oh, it means. Yeah. But we've got it now. All so. sorted. Right. Let's get out of the city and go and find somewhere to stay. Good morning from North Macedonia. We stayed at this beautiful spot last night. What an introduction to the country. We were not expecting any snow. It's about half seven in the morning and it's snowing quite heavily. And just look at this incredible place we stayed at. It's unbelievable.
the snow. And he's holding it down. My God, the hills are so steep. We're gonna be all right. Easy. Do that with my eyes closed. Driving through that bit of snow this morning, we thought it's finally time we fork out for some winter tyres for the front of the van. Um, our old ones were completely bald, they were like polished rubber. I'll stick a little photo in the video here. But we got two new front tyres for around I think 6,600 Macedonian dinner, which works out at around 90 quid, which is not bad at all. So we've just parked up in the city by the stadium. First things first, we're going to walk to the old Turkish bazaar for some of Lucy's favourite breakfast. Turkish coffee! Whee! Off we go. We found it. Here we are. <laughs> trying different types of coffee from all over and all over the Balkans. They've got this Turkish influence with their Turkish coffee. So it's made by like boiling the coffee grounds and the sugar together in what's called a sose, which is a little copper pot. And then you serve the coffee and you allow the grounds to settle to the bottom, which is why it might look a bit thick at first. And then traditionally it's always served with a glass of water and a little sweet, such as Turkish delight. So this market is one of the oldest and largest markets in all of the Balkans. It's been trading since around the 12th century and uh, it's largely been influenced by Ottoman architecture but also a bit of Byzantine as well. Nowadays the bazaar is mainly a tourist attraction with uh, souvenir shops, jewellers, Turkish style food and things like that. I've got some burak and Lucy's got some. Baklava! Yes! <laughs> I think we've seen enough of the touristy side of the market. Now we're going to head to the indoor food market, which we drove past the other day and it looked like absolute chaos. So we can't wait to get stuck in and find some cheap bargains. <laughs> Wow, what are these, Ben? <laughs> wow, where do we start? <laughs> I think we probably only need one kilo. Yeah. One kilo? One kilo? One kilo. Yeah. Oh, should we get those? Two kilos. Two kilos. Two kilos. Thank you. The spiciest, the hottest. This is, you know, very spicy. Very spicy. Yeah. This many. Okay, can we get this? Very spicy. This is two thousand and a half kilo. Okay. You can 
try. Yeah. Good. Well, that's good. <laughs> Into the food market. That was every bit as chaotic and cheap as we kind of hoped for. We've got so much food in there. Not sure how much it came to, but we'll work it out later and put it below in the link. <laughs> we just walked past the uh, chili, still burning my mouth. I could not resist buying some of those spices, so got really good food in there. Well chuffed. After exploring the old bazaar and food market, we ventured into the city centre, where we found an eclectic mix of Ottoman, Byzantine, Brutalist, Neoclassical and Baroque architecture. Dominating the city's skyline are dozens and dozens of statues, built from 2008 onwards by the government in an attempt to redevelop the country and increase tourism during the economic crash. The statues infuriated the local residents, who felt that the 500 million euros could have been better spent on improving infrastructure, and felt they were a distraction from North Macedonia's real problems like high unemployment. <laughs> Wow, what a fascinating time in Skopje. Don't, Good fun. Don't normally enjoy capital cities that much, but that one was really nice. All the Ottoman architecture and the food and especially the coffee and everything like that. It was really yeah, it was a fun. really good experience. We're not normally fans of cities, are we? But that one was really nice. Manageable size. Everyone was really friendly, mm. easy to get around and stuff. So And that hectic little market as well. That was yeah, it was fun. wicked fun, man. Wicked fun. We had a really good time. So I think now it's probably time for us to run away from the city, head to the countryside where we know best and go and see a little bit more of the country. What do you reckon? I think so. Brilliant. Well, we really hope you enjoyed the time in Skopje as much as we did and we will see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.